Hello, today I'm going to take you through installing OBS Studio and getting it set up to record gameplay or other videos for YouTube. So to start, go to obsproject.com in your favourite browser where you'll see that the product is available for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. So we're going to be working with Windows in this example, so click Windows and it will download. Once you have the download on your system, locate the file and you're going to want to right click on it and then select run as administrator. And this will start up the setup program. So once you're in the setup program, click next and click next again. And here you can choose a path if you want to change it before clicking install. And the installer will now go away and install all of the files, which will take a little bit of time depending on the speed of your computer. And then once that is done, you'll have the option here to launch the studio so just click finish. OBS will open up. The first time it opens up, it will see the auto configuration wizard. And this will ask if you want to set up primarily for streaming or for recording or to use the virtual camera. In this example, we're going to be recording our footage. So click record before clicking next here. This is only some default settings and you can change all of these later. So don't worry about it too much. Here we can just accept these defaults and click next. And here we can apply the settings. Now that we're into the program itself, we want to change one more thing, which is the output. So click settings and here we go to output. And here we're going to set the path for the recording items. And this is where your recordings that OBS creates will end up. So choose a suitable path here and click select folder before apply. Everything else here we can leave as the defaults for now. They're all fairly sensible. So we can just click OK. Before we record, the one thing that we're going to need here is we're going to need a gameplay source. So click plus and click game capture. Game capture tends to be the best, the least laggy capturing method. Leave these as the defaults. Click OK. And you can see that it already has a capture for your display audio and your microphone. So that will record all your sound for you. And here we can just click start recording to get started. So with the recording running, we can open up our application or game. Here I'm going to open up an application that will be in the second display. So it won't appear on this video but it will appear in the capture window you can see in the middle of this screen in a short while. It typically takes a few seconds for the things to sync up, but you can see now it's loaded into Escape Academy. And now all your gameplay that you do in there is being recorded. And then once you've got all your session completed, you just click stop recording and it will save the video. You can see that the output has been placed into the folder you selected earlier and it will be an mkv file these are a good format and you can run them in media player the only thing you can't do with these is you can't upload them directly to youtube what you need for that is an mp4 file so you'll need to convert them now if you have an editor you'll most likely be able to open the mkv file in there if you don't have access to an editor right now, you can convert within OBS itself. So what you do for that is you go into OBS and you go to the file menu and you go to Remux recordings. Here you choose the recording that you created earlier with the MKV extension, click open. And here in the target path, I'm going to set the path so it saves it in a different directory called MP4. And then just click Remux and it will convert that video for you into an MP4. This obviously takes a little longer if it's a long file, but you'll have an MP4 equivalent to your MKV file, which you can then use to upload to YouTube or whatever you want to do with it. Now, I would recommend that you get a dedicated editing program. My personal recommendation is DaVinci Resolve, which is available in both a free and paid for version. It is a very capable editing program. But that's all for this video, so enjoy your time working with OBS and thank you very much for watching.